Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Brush Creator. Now, you can open the Brush Creator by clicking on Window and clicking Brush Creator, or in the Properties panel of whatever tool you have open. So right down here, underneath the different volumes, you can see the Brush Creator icon. If you don't see all the settings, you can resize the Brush Creator with this little tiny triangle in the bottom right corner. So let's go through some of the basics of the Brush Creator in this first video. Up here in the right corner is the context menu. You have three options, reset brush changes, save changes as default, and save as new brush preset. These three options here, with the addition of close, these three can be found right here. Let's make an adjustment so that these are active. You have reset brush changes, save changes as default, and save as a new brush preset. The, the way that I like to think about it is temporary and permanent states. So here we can adjust all these different things. and We've got a fancy new brush and we decide we don't like it. So in order to change that, we're going to click right here and we're going to reset it to its last permanent state. So we're back to what we had before. Now, if I change this and I go, wow, this new brush is awesome. If I want to save this as the new permanent state of the brush, I can click right here, save changes as default. Now, if I make some changes, and I go, yeah, I like the old one. I can click right here, reset brush changes, and it's gonna go back to that last state that we made. Now, if we like a brush so much that we want it to have a twin, you can click right here, save as new brush preset. It'll create a duplicate with a new number at the end of it. So this is Super Sprayer 2, this is Super Sprayer 3, and this is Super Sprayer. There's no Super Sprayer 1, it's one by default. If I create a brush that I really like and I want to give it a very special name, what I can do is I can go over here and I can double click on the name and I can give it something really cool. Really cool super sprayer brush. <laughs> okay, so now we have the really cool super sprayer brush right here. If we make a duplicate, it will be really cool super sprayer brush too. Now if I make a brush that I don't like, I can click right here and I can delete it. Yes, I want to remove it. I can click here to share a brush and it'll share it to the community. And you can also download your own brushes later from online that way. In the next video, we're going to talk about saving settings specifically to a brush or specifically to a tool or media or saving them as system settings that apply to all of the brushes inside of Rebel 4. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.